It's my feel good breakfast show. <laughs> Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show expresso on SABCD. Now, in the days of aristocracy, castle knights and sword fighting, and the Black Plague indeed, jesters were appointed by the court to provide comic relief and distraction from all of these macabre times, if you will. Fast forward to 2018, and things haven't really changed much because stand up comedians are here taking the stage to fulfill the exact same objective, and that is exactly the energy behind the comedy festival Jesters in the Park, starting tonight at Maynardville Open Air Theatre. Featuring the lineup, the likes of Daniel Richards, Dylan or Dylan Skews, Phil DeLonger, Kurt Squinrod, and yes, Rob Van Feeren. He's here. Uh, the, the two gentlemen are here to tell us all about it. <laughs> gentlemen, welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> that was amazing. I mean, did you hear all that stuff he was saying? I've been waiting Jeez. all my life to do that. What did that even mean? I don't know, but it's provocative. <laughs> <laughs> it's provocative. Huh? Guys, Hello. great to have you here. Great to have you. The show starts tonight, uh, what, quarter past eight. Every single evening, people can go to the theatre. Um, until the theater. Saturday night. Until yeah. Saturday night. But the wind is pretty rough out there. Conditions aren't friendly. Are you, are you guys going to be Man, we are in a beautiful canopy forest over there. There is, trust me, it's going to be cool. There yeah. won't be any, there better not be any problems. And let's be honest, I don't see rain tomorrow night. <laughs> don't take As much as I'd love to have rain, let's, yeah, don't get me I was wrong, about to say. I don't see it in, in our future tomorrow night. And please, especially so. with us approaching these dire times and days. Uh, Stop it now! What is no, this? I want to. Have you like turned into Shakespeare no, this morning? No, Dost thou know what thou speakst, my man? <laughs> He's clearly doing the Shakespearean part of that festival. Oh, so, 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 what can we expect from the lineup? What, you, what kind of topics are you guys going to be covering during? I'm literally going to do the whole show standing up there. <laughs> I'm going to be like holding a skull. <laughs> Well, it's essentially, this, this festival's yeah. been going on for a really long time. Yeah. And it's gen generally a Shakespearean festival with the ballet and the likes of. So, essentially, we're just contextualizing it, put a little bit of um, a topical little swing on it, and then you know, the court chest uh, would seem like the obvious next move. So. Yeah, but why? Why the obvious next move? I mean, we, we well, reach we've, back into the day the now. It's the evolution of comedy, really, you know? Yeah. And, um, you know, the dying on stage theory. You know, back then, if you if you didn't work out, if no one was laughing, you, they would kill you, bro. I don't know why you're pointing <laughs> at you, me when you say dying. <laughs> On stage. I, I just said, did That's you... not cool. <laughs> Wait, have you then stuck true to the theme by providing the audience with a batch of, let's say, rotten tomatoes? Let's and not give them any idea. Please, I think that would be amazing. Men on board, they have to do that. Give everyone at least three rotten tomatoes, and they are allowed to to throw them at you guys. That so we're gonna come and hunt you down if they show up with tomatoes. <laughs> Thanks. Bro. Cheers. But what do you think uh, audiences will enjoy the most about this, Rob? This, this show. It's an incredible venue. On. I've been lucky enough to do a couple of Shakespeare's there. I've done three uh, Shakespeare's at Men on board, and it is a beautiful, beautiful venue. And I think it's a really cool idea that we're bringing some stand-up comedy to the space. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think people are going to have an absolute jaw there. It's yeah. like a, you know, it's a great night out. You come for a picnic and then you come and do it. And we're going to, we're going to do stand-up comedy, but we're going to give it a little bit of a, a Shakespearean kind of twist on things. I'm going to do like a little kind of breakdown of what it, what Shakespeare means and uh, how not to be intimidated by, by Shakespeare. Are you, are you quite a Shakespeare aficionado? Are you, you, yeah. Yeah. You really? can, you can crack a I don't know if you were listening like to me when I, was, when I was talking now, but I've already done it did, I did, a few times. You, when you were saying, oh, did it, oh, oh, from, oh, blah, 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 blah. I, I, do I didn't read that stuff off the screen like you did. <laughs> I learned it inside my head. I also do Shakespeare in the parking lot. In the parking lot? Yeah. Really? Romeo, Romeo, for where art thou, Alpha Romeo? <laughs> <laughs> That's his... I did it, bro. I did a British Shakespeare there. That, that was very inspired. Late. That was inspired, yeah. gentlemen. That was good, I, eh? I can't, I can't. We'll be better tonight, I promise you. <laughs> it's very real, real for us. Tonight. <laughs> Check it out tonight, uh, ladies and gentlemen, at the Main Art Middle Open Air Theatre. It's called Jester's Keep reading. In the Keep park. reading, cats. In the park. You're doing very well. <laughs> yes. I'm, hey, my Kate. education was not for free, son. I read me. I read. Yeah, I don't like Kate. What do you know? about this thing, uh, 150 to 220 bucks. That's the price of the ticket on Compute Ticket. Yo. Yes! Boom. We're gonna go, go and <laughs> check it out. It's my feel good show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, listen, um, two of our favorite guys, uh, Kurt Skrullard and Rob Van Vieren are here, and of course they are part of the cast of the Jesters in the Park Comedy Festival that starts tonight. I'll tell you more about that. Now, on the show, they're gonna be helping each other, you know, as part of a big team, but right now, they're about to face off in the all too classic Espresso omelette challenge. Gentlemen, you've received the rules. Two minutes is all you've got. You've got to use all the ingredients in front of you to plate a fully cooked... Plate it. Yeah, plate a okay. fully cooked... Not and great, No, great tasting omelette. 
that I will then taste and judge afterwards. Why are you gentlemen. shouting at it's me very, already? It's very specific, Rob. It's like you I know how this understand. is going to turn out. I do, I do. You don't work well on the pressure. All right, gentlemen, you know the rules. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's get cracking with those eggs. Get cracking with the olive oil. Kurt Skunrod gets straight into that. Oh, wow. This cracking technique is amazing. Everyone is in there right now. Pepper, because that's important. Yes. And I'd like to, to have you uh, uh, conduct yourself in the most Shakespearean manner possible while you do this. What? In the most Shakespearean manner. This is all about dresses in the past. So it's all in the wrist, Kurt. You should be good at this part. Shakespeare doesn't talk like that. It's all in the wrist. Hey, listen. Harry Fogs, jump to it. Bro. Let's go. All right. So it looks like Kurt's omelet is in first. We got one minute thirty seconds to go. Oh there no, goes God! Rob. Too little heat, guys. Too little heat. Stop whining. Oh. <laughs> the good old switcheroo from Kurt trying to use the heat off of Rob. Okay, What's going on? Get your bro. heat up, buddy. You now you both are the same heat. All right, it. come on, boyki. What's going on, Give us some heat, yeah, man. You got the heat. All right, you're doing a little bit of a crossover here. Yeah? How much time? How much time have we got? I'll give you a time count. One minute to go, gentlemen. One minute to go. Remember, this is about speed. Whoever plates the quickest wins, but it's going to be a plated omelet. But it, was, it must be like a terrible omelet, right? It must still be like an edible omelet. Exactly. I've got to taste it. Yes. <laughs> no, you've got to carry on. No, no, that is disgusting. It's not over. It's not over. Rob's gonna, oh, Rob's gonna win this, Kurt. No, 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 no. Right no. Now? It's okay. The, the game's okay, fine. We're getting there. Look at that. How are we doing oh. with the time? Come on! 30 seconds to go. You might want to flip it at this point in time. Don't you tell me I'm what sorry. to do. This is my kitchen. <laughs> yes, I should flip it. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Ta -da. Ta -da. How did that happen? Kurt Skunrod, out of a position of nowhere, has just plated the most beautiful omelette I've ever seen. Because he talks too much. Talk too much. <laughs> omelette too little. <laughs> <laughs> That looks really good. That's pretty amazing. Uh, Thanks, gentlemen. Rob, want to tell me what happened here? A scrambled this eggs. Is, um, this is a, a, a water restriction omelette. <laughs> water restriction omelette? <laughs> Pass me a fork, Lucian. All right. The tongue to be toots. Let's taste Did it Did you put everything in there? I've got everything. Like Salt, pepper, oil, milk, oh, everything. Man. Oh, ho. It's Thank you very much. Oh. It's just eggs, cat. Don't get carried away. I think away. we got a new champion, bro. <laughs> Oh, come on! What is this? I just had myself with the spatula. <laughs> Listen, check these guys out uh, tonight. Jason in the, the park. eggs! <laughs> May not will. Open Air Theatre starts tonight until the 3rd of February. Shows at quarter past 8 in the evening. <laughs>